Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866-LAW-FRIEND. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week it's River's Edge, Rumble at the River, and an exclusive interview with Krista Grotti, star of the movie Nation's Fire. Her eyes tell a story of truth, struggle, pain, and wisdom. This movie has it all. Welcome to Hollywood and get ready for Krista Grotti and Nation's Fire. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Closed captioning is brought to you by Love Jugs, the most powerful and effective V-twin engine cooling system in the world. Get your Love Jugs at a dealer near you. Find out at love-jugs.com. Everyone was right, I was born to ride. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine. The ultimate multimedia biker experience. Oh yes sir, this is B. Brian Blair, the Killer B, and everybody's buzzing about Born to Ride. River's Edge and it's Rumble at the river, man. What a show. There must be thousands of people here, thousand motorcycles for sure, and probably about 2,000 people. But I'm with kind of the star of the show, the one a lot of people came to see is Krista Grotti. Krista, great to have you on Born to Ride. Thank you for having me. This has been a great day, exciting event, lots of people, lots of fun, midget wrestling, loved it. Kicking butt. I'm telling you, what, how do you feel being part of the biker community because you ride, but to, to have a, thousands of people and they're just having fun with each other? You know what, that's what I love most about it is that you can just come out, be yourself, do your thing, nobody gives a damn, everybody is a friends, family, that's that's what it's like here, it's that whole aura of family, so um, you know, everybody's out there dancing, taking their shoes off, doing their thing, you know, and that's what I love. Greg Billings, you know, when he's playing, it just makes people move their feet and kind of it gets in your soul. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, he did soul shine today. But, you know, having Greg here is important, too. Uh, I know attorney Fran Hash took care of him today. But Greg Billings really set the crowd going. Oh, he really did. And uh, he was gracious enough to play longer than he was scheduled to play because, you know, the crowd just didn't want to hear him stop, you know. <laughs> they didn't want him to stop. So that was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, it was real exciting because, you know, it takes you back to when we were shooting Nation's fire and uh, soul shine that was our song yeah so. it, it's a it's a great song and I know we're trying to work on some things possibly to be able to use that song yeah. but you know thanks to Bobby Ramey when you said that um, Greg played a whole extra set Bobby Ramey threw down some cash and said Greg Billings we need you to play longer and when the mayor of Gibtown and the sheriff of Gibsonton says he wants you to play it's hard to say no to Bobby Ramey because he, he's such a stable in this community, a great guy, and everybody loves him. But yeah. the biker community today, everybody's loving it and getting together, the bikes. What about the bikes in the bike show? Some pretty cool bikes there, right? Oh, my gosh. I couldn't take my eyes off some of these bikes just walking through. I mean, just they're, they're completely from top to bottom pretty bad. So it's nice to see. Now, you're here today signing the cover of the Born to Ride magazine, which you gracefully uh, you know, put it out there on the cover. Just an awesome photo shoot. But I tell you what, the in-depth interview with you telling the blood, the sweat, the tears, kind of that's what Hollywood's about. But you're much more than Hollywood, Krista. I mean, it's so, such... 
I tell you, it's been such an honor for me to work with you because you're so inspiring. And people, when you read that article, the feature in the magazine, you're going to find out some inspiration probably for you as well. So it's where you start and where you're at. But man, let's talk about Nation's Fire because, I mean, you killed it in there. But it's such a family type of story, man. It'll get in your heart. It really is. And I think that, you know, that was the goal with making this movie in the first place. Of course, we want our action. We've got that drama. We've got the realness you know, life imitating art, vice versa. But uh, at the end of the day, it is all about that family bond and how people come together and kind of disregard the uh, the societal norms in order to look out for and take care of each other. And uh, that, that was our goal uh, with the message in this movie. So I think that we've accomplished that. Uh, it's about wrapped and ready for, um, you know, distribution. So we're real excited about that. And I can't wait to get you know our community's thoughts on it and I just hope and pray that we make everybody proud that's that's the main goal and you're a big inspiration too, Ronnie it's been amazing working with you you know that and um, just you, your creativity is just mind-blowing sometimes the ideas that you've come up with and just the things that you've arranged for us to accomplish in making this this big budget movie so it's you know it's been a real honor and I'm like really ecstatic about it it's a dream come true because we wanted to do a a, a biker theme movie for a long time now I mean like 10 years now and you know what we we finally did that so I mean that in itself is something to be very proud of you know well I mean for sure and, and you know talk about the biker community being proud the biker community in Tampa Bay was part of this movie man how cool was that Scooter Haven Scooey Louis and we brought a couple hundred bikes the guys from California were like damn are these all uh, actors how did they get these people that's our biker community that came out when we called for them was that not awesome it really Really was awesome and you know what uh, honestly when we were there and I I know everybody things got rough that day too because there's so much hurry up and wait and we're having to get all these bikes ready to do a long unity run that stretched a couple miles and um, you know so we had to stage all these bikes and, and prepare for that to do it as safely obviously as possible get everybody on the cameras under the drones and it was pretty amazing because you know everybody you know did what they needed to do stayed the whole day you know they were real troopers about it and like I really appreciated that and I got emotional just hearing the rumble of all those bikes and just seeing everybody turning in one after another after another after another and we're seeing all these people show up to Scooter Haven the llamas you know these guys showed up and uh, I mean with pride it, it, it to me it just it was just such a blessing to have um, you know all these guys and a part of this and be proud of this and um, so that's why I want to return the favor and hopefully make them proud as well with this movie this is a Florida homegrown movie you know Lama in the house man Tampa Lama right with yeah. 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 Right here in the house right. Lama in the house right, baby. Right. and we'll be right back with more Born to Ride It's Game Over Cycles, the unbelievable tattooed motorcycle, the recidivist, comes to life. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Ocala Bike Fest is coming April 20th, 21st, and 22nd at Warhorse Harley Davidson, Ocala. Proceeds benefiting Art Marion Advocacy Resource Center. You can win a Harley Davidson. That's right, pick the style and the color. Only 500 tickets will be sold. Only $100 donation. Giveaway is Saturday night at 8 p.m. Five concerts in three days featuring Bobby Frisk, the rock and roll showstopper. Friday is Jeep Night. Sunday, Classic Car Show. Ocala Bike Fest, sponsored by Born to Ride TV and Magazine. Attorney Fran Hosh, 866 Law Fran. 
and many others. So you can win a Harley, help local charity, great food, and fun. It's the Ocala Bike Fest. For more info, go to OcalaBikeFest.com. No payments for 12 months plus 0% for six years. Credit approval required. Visit www.nopaymentsfor12months.com to learn more or call 844-654-0000 for a fast, free recorded message. Need we say more? Available only at Warhorse Harley-Davidson, Ocala, Florida. Charlotte's Web Pub, Wachula. Coldest beer in town. The real deal biker destination. Sunday, May 6th. It's Charlotte's 10-year anniversary party. Save the date. You don't want to miss this party. With Border Ride and Attorney Fran Hosh, 866-LAW-FRAN. Bike show, vendors, games, and more. It's coming. Live in concert, the electric Jasmine Kane. Whatever you do, don't miss this show. Charlotte's Web 10-year anniversary party. Born to Ride Magazine, the hottest, baddest, most popular magazine for the biker lifestyle. Hard-hitting, action-packed, up-to-date, real content, exclusive stories and interviews that always leave you wanting more. Local and national coverage that you can always count on. Born to Ride Magazine can now be delivered directly to your door. Only $39.95 for 12 issues. Order now. Order now. 888-795-5779 or check out BornToRide.com. Born to Ride! I mean, it's really cool that we got to bring it back to Florida to film, but hell, we were filming 24 days or so in L.A. I mean, we were in Burbank in the studios. I was like freaked out, and Krista says, you know, uh, thankful that I was a part of it, but man, you guys gave me a great opportunity, and I'm never going to miss an opportunity like that, so I had to deliver. But man, so inspiring in L.A., you know, the hills in L.A., and then we brought it back to Florida, like she said. The biker community came out, and they're a part of this, man. You guys are a part of Nation's Fire. We're going to do a premiere. It's going to be big. We're even talking to Greg Billings, man. He might be doing a song for us, but it's going to be a good movie. So you got to check it out. It's a reality. You know, it's like The Godfather isn't just a movie about gangsters. Right. And Nation's Fire isn't a movie just about bikers. It, it's going to make you cry. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to take you on a roller coaster ride of emotion. So when I'm talking about emotion, Krista, I got to ask you, you played some heavy scenes in this movie. Yeah. Where does it come from? from deep inside what inspires you to do these roles because you're taking us all of us on this trip of a movie for roller coaster ride of emotion and how do you get prepared for that you know as an actor um, for me it's a benefit that I've walked the trenches in my own life because that's something I can use to relate to my characters that I play in the certain situations that they're in and um, I know that oftentimes I Ironically, when I play a role, um, there's only a gamut of emotions that you can portray. And I think about times where I've exhibited the exact same emotion and I put my mind back there. So I try not to think about anything in the future that could happen that would make me cry or scream or get into that, that rage or those emotions I have. I think of things that are the past. That way I don't attract further situations to me. You know what I mean? Because I strongly believe believe in that. I believe you think what you think about you bring about. So I focus on the past and you know um, th there's been there's some losses in this movie that you know and we've all experienced that every single one of us. I mean that's what makes us who we are and the losses I've experienced um, you know uh, a young man who I had pass away in my home under my care um, changed me as a human being forever. It was a friend of my son's and I know you know I dedicate my role in this movie to him as a, you know a way to kind of just show my my love and gratitude for him being a part of my life for the time that he was you what's know? his name Devin Carbo Devin Carbo yeah so emotion runs deep so you're saying that a lot of the emotion you felt was from real life experience yes absolutely because uh, my emotion needs to be real I'm not going to fake it um, I don't put in fake tears if I'm gonna cry this is real so I'm simply just you know reliving moments that I've experienced and it works for me uh, you know everybody has their own their own way of doing
doing things, but I do what works for me, and I think that um, it showed pretty well in this movie. Well, so, I mean, you're not new to acting, people. I, I, what I would say is this is her breakout movie, and Hollywood better get ready for Chris DeGrotti, but you've been doing this for over 20 years. Oh, yeah. I've been doing it forever. I mean, I, and it's something that just is a natural part of me, you know, uh, even though I don't have much of a relationship with my, my own blood family, um, I do know that there's a lot of artists and performers um, and nutcases, you know, down the line of my generations. So I think that all works together for for me and and my craft, you know. I, I, I use that. So I, you know, I just try to turn something negative into something positive and hit it. Saturday, May 5th, APAC, American People Against Cop Killers. Annual Memorial Dice Run. Over 70 mile ride for motorcycles and cars. Support the ones who put their lives on the line for us every day. Starts at Captain's Corner in Brooksville, 8.30 a.m. Kickstands up at 10 a.m. 50-50, music, food, door prizes, breakfast will be available. Everyone is welcome, $20 per bike or car. $10 extra card. That's APEC, Saturday, May 5th. American people against cop killers. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Okawa Bike Fest is coming. April 20th, 21st, and 22nd at Warhorse Harley Davidson, Ocala. Proceeds benefiting Art Marion. Advocacy Resource Center. You can win a Harley Davidson. That's right, pick the style and the color. Only 500 tickets will be sold. Only $100 donation. Giveaway is Saturday night at 8 p.m. Five concerts in three days. Featuring Bobby Friss, the rock and roll showstopper. Friday is Jeep night. Sunday, classic car show. Ocala Bike Fest, sponsored by Born to Ride TV and Magazine, Attorney Fran Hosh, 866-LAW-FRAN, and many others. So you can win a Harley, help local charity, great food and fun. It's the Ocala Bike Fest. For more info, go to OcalaBikeFest.com. No payments for 12 months plus 0% for six years. Credit approval required. Visit www.nopaymentsfor12months.com to learn more or call 844-654-0000 for a fast, free recorded message. Need we say more? Available only at Warhorse Harley-Davidson, Ocala, Florida. Is your business connecting with a powerful market? Text message marketing. 85% of Americans own a mobile phone. 100% use them every day. An audience that will read your message within two minutes of receiving is powerful. Get your message in the hands of your best and next customer. Easy and affordable. You set the budget. Text message marketing. It's time to get noticed. Call Media Design Shop, 813-571-4003. Check out the all-new BornToRide.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazines, social media, and much more. It's the all-new BornToRide.com. Want to change your life forever in just three days? Learn to ride at Warhorse Harley-Davidson Riding Academy in Ocala. It's only three days, and with our 98% graduation rate, you are certain to succeed. Change the way people look at you forever. Tired of riding without a license? Get your motorcycle or trike endorsement today. Our class is fast and it's fun. And remember, active military and veterans can attend for free. Ride with confidence. Warhorse Harley-Davidson Riding Academy. Ocala, Florida, 352-732-2488. So now you're acting over 20 years. You come on the set. We create this Nation's Fire movie. And now you're working with people like Academy Award winning guys like Bruce Dern, Gil Bellows, you know. And then we brought in, or you brought in uh, Chuck Liddell, who's an iconic individual. Now, Krista is not only the actress and the star of the movie, but you're doing the business stuff, people. So she's learned all her lines, but then she's doing the business and the books and the budgets, man. I'm talking about budgets. Do you know what that is? Oh, boy. That's a lot of work. And I mean, just working with people and motivating them. But man, so much business you're taking care of. And that's where I'm saying inspiring what Krista does. But, but on the set, 
then you're back to acting. <laughs> so what was it like acting with those guys I just mentioned? You know, uh, it was very exciting to say the least because sometimes when you sit there and you realize, you know, here I am with these big league, you know, performers, entertainers, actors, fighters like Chuck Liddell, uh, it really makes you feel accomplished because they're not so easy to come by or even get a hold of, you know, to do this. And the fact that they love the story and the script and wanted to be a part of this, um, I think that says something for all of us. So it, it, to me, I, you know, I, I took that and uh, used that experience to learn and grow from. And especially, you know, for me, the most, the funnest part of it was talking to them, you know, on set in between takes. And you know what I thought was really cool? I just got to say this. Chuck Liddell, I think you were interviewing him, and uh, you, you asked him, what was what was the toughest part of your day today? And, uh, and Chuck said, I think the hardest part for me was calling her a bitch. And and I said, you know what? What a guy! What a what a man! You know, this guy. You know, he's a heavyweight champion, fighter, and uh, with with such a respect. You know, and I, I to me, I just thought that was really cool. Chuck was, I mean, a real guy. He's so iconic. Everybody knows him. He looks great in the role. Wait till you see what happens to Chuck. It's amazing this movie. But uh, he also said something funny too. Remember, he's talking about the Goonies or was it the, the Smurfs? The Smurfs. <laughs> Ronnie said, "What are some movies you like to watch?" And Chuck's like, huh, I like the Smurfs. <laughs> so it was, it was so cute, though, you know? And he's got two little kids, so he said that was the most recent movie he watched, and he, he really enjoyed it. And I thought, oh, man, I used to love the Smurfs. <laughs> Things like that in a movie set break up the monotony of waiting so long to do your scene. That's another thing. Different locations, so much logistics. There's like, what, 50 people or more on the crew. It has to be more than that. Catering. So many things I learned. I just tried to get in there and document it to, to show what's going on. So, But, man, you guys are just so much more into the movie of it. So tell us what's going on with the movie now. When can the people see Nation's Fire? Well, uh, we're in the very final stages of post-production. We're in the last four weeks uh, where it's at. The movie is going through the post-house process um, for things like, you know, the effects, color correction, and, and those to kind of spruce it up a bit. And uh, with the musical score, the orchestra, straight of and that and uh, April 1st we are slated to be complete and then the movie will be out soon thereafter for distribution so I I'm thinking you know this summer we will be able to have a big amazing premiere of Nation's Fire so I was just gonna ask tell me about the premiere I tell you what about the premiere. Stay tuned because we're going to do a premiere in Florida, aren't we? Yes, we definitely want to do it big, and we want to do this for all the our biker community who came out and supported this. This is for them. We want to we want to have a big uh, event for it, and and really give everybody a good time and show our gratitude to all you guys, you know, for being a part of this. I mean, uh, we can't thank you enough. Trust me. I mean, we talk about it all the time and think about it all the time because. I just, that was like one of the best days of my life, just just being a part of that. So, and everything went off without a hitch. Everything was great. And we had, we just had a hell of a time. So I'll never forget it. It was awesome. And, you know, doing a movie like this, it's, it's break, broken up in scenes. Then it's all put together, backwards, forwards, we shoot it. You got to have continuity, same stuff. There's so many different angles and things that you have to do. But, you know, all that, and then it flies by, and then you're done. So you try to remember the best things. Where is, what's something that stood out to you along this movie? I know you talked about the bikers of Florida, but something in L.A., what, what happened that you really can remember or something that you're maybe really fired up about? Well, for me, I think it is one of the controversial uh, scenes that we shot in the movie in the aftermath of that and um, how the uh, life imitates art topic that I was talking about before. And, um, you know, uh, sometimes I get a little nervous. Well, you know, are people going to condemn us for this or accept it or, you know, um, but we're just trying to put the realness in there, you know what I mean? And um, and, and playing those scenes was, uh, was pretty emotional just thinking about the situation as 
as as it was. Mm -hmm. So I think those are some things that stood out for me personally. You know. Yeah, being an actor is you got to act and play these uh, the role that you're given or written on. And Nation's Fire, man. I tell you what, it's a roller coaster ride of emotion. I say Vertigo meets Born Losers. You know, um, Kill Bill, the whole nine yards. This is twisted beyond that. Chris, any last words? No, I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you've done. Thank you and Debbie and the whole Born to Ride team. I want, I mean, we're so appreciative and thankful, and I, I just want people to know that. And thank you guys too for being so supportive. I mean, there's there's absolutely nothing like the biking community. I'm nothing, and I couldn't be more proud to be a part of it. And that is why we wanted to do this. All right, guys, there you have it. An exclusive interview, Chris Grotti, Nation. Fire right here at Rumble at the river at the river's edge in Gibb Town. Is your business becoming invisible? Five reasons to advertise. One, you control the message completely. Two, creates credibility and sense of a thriving business. Three, brings awareness to everything you are doing. Four, find new customers. Five, keeps you top of mind. We could tell you more, but you get the idea. Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Call 888-795-5779.